Hi, my name is Vidhi. I'm a first year law student at National Law University, Delhi, and I'll be hopefully moving on to my second year very, very soon. Uh, I started my YouTube for basically two reasons. One, I wanted to document my college life, and I was crazy obsessed with YouTube while I was preparing for my law entrances. And second, in continuation to that, uh, while I was preparing, I realized that there's not a lot of information available as to how life in NLU's and Indian law school is. So this video is going to be me talking about how my first year has been and how law school turned out for me. Uh, is it what I was expecting or is it different and if it's different, how different it is. So I'm going to be very, very real in this. I have tried to record this video at least four times before this and I hope this is the final attempt that I'm giving to this video because it's very hard. There are a lot of things that I want to say and to summarize it in just 10, 15 minutes. It's practically impossible, but I'll try my best. So yeah, if you're about to join a law school, I hope this video helps you. It acts as a guide as to how you can plan your first year. And if you've already been through your first year, I hope you relate and let me know how you deal with some of the things that I have dealt with in the past year. So yeah, first day of my college, I was damn excited, not knowing what to expect. And obviously because dream law school hai, finally a gaye, ye wo, ye wo. And I was sitting in a class and like with 122 other people, class was jam packed. And then these two professors, they walk in and they just come in and they start introducing the subject, which was history of legal and constitutional development in India. And they start talking about these philosophers and theories and I don't know what, I mean, I still don't know what the first lecture was about because I completely blanked out or completely zoned out in the middle of the lecture. Because in the first lesson itself, there were already kids who were raising their hands and answering the questions and like looking at them and the whole atmosphere and what the professor was saying and me not being able to understand that. It made me like question like why am I here? Do I even belong here? Yeah. Am I even good enough for this place? And you know, later I realized that this feeling was not limited to that first class or the first day of college. Several times in the past year I have felt that maybe I don't belong to this place. I'm I'm not good enough for this place. And wo imposter syndrome wala feeling rehta hai wo bahut zyada feel hota hai especially if you're you know in such a college where you are expected to be best at all times right and this thought consumed me so much that after you know three four weeks of college i started to feel suffocated for me it felt that the walls of the college was closing in on me so i would just wait for the weekend so that i could go out someplace and just you know get away from the campus that was the situation and feeling suffocated in the campus is something not very uncommon you know a lot of people go through that i think the only mistake that i made was that i started isolating myself from the college and the process and the people because i felt that you know this is not for me in my second semester i started opening up to people i started talking a lot with my seniors i started talking with a few of my batchmates pura khul ke right and then i realized that a lot of people were going through the same issues as i was and had i discussed all of it with them cheeze bahut hi zyada sorted hoti theek hai and ek aur cheez main pehli baar naya naya apne ghar se nikli thi right to fir bahut sari cheeze badalti hain so one thing you'll realize is that law school is a lot about unlearning the things that you already know and the process of unlearning is more difficult than you know let's say process of getting more information or getting acquainted with new things because how do you let go of the ideologies or your already existing beliefs wo karna padta hai and wo karne mein bahut difficulty aati hai i'll tell you what happens एक दिन पहले तुम घर पे होते हो वेर एवरीबडी इज लुकिंग आउट फॉर यू पीपल आर स्कोल्डिंग यू फॉर यूजिंग योर फोन खाना खाने के लिए तुमको बुलाया जा रहा है तुम अगर कमरा साफ नहीं रख रहे हो तो तुमको डांट पड़ रही है तुम कैसे पैसे खर्च करने हैं वो तुम्हारे पेरेंट्स डिसाइड करना है एंड द नेक्स्ट डे यूर इन कॉलेज एंड यू एनकाउंटर फ्रीडम ठीक है फ्रीडम लाइक यू माइट हैव नेवर सीन बिफोर एटलीस्ट फॉर मी तो ऐसा ही था Nobody to tell me when to eat, when to sleep, what to do, how to do. I had Paytm, just say I could spend money, right? And it was just on me to do whatever I want. Every decision from now onwards was mine to take. ठीक है? अब यहाँ पे मैं किसी से नहीं पूछ सकती कि मेरे लिए ये decide करो या वो decide करो, ठीक है? And this freedom can be dangerous. 
एंड वेन यू गेट दिस मच ऑफ फ्रीडम उसमें डिसाइड करना कि राइट right क्या है रॉन्ग क्या है बिकॉज जो चीजें तुम्हें अभी तक पता थी कि रॉन्ग होती है वो समवेयर कॉलेज आपके सही लगने लगती है यार बिकॉज एवरीबडी अराउंड यू इज डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दो थिंग्स एंड यू फील दैट वॉट इज द हार्म इन डूइंग इट टू समवेयर नो द डिस्टिंक्शन वेन द लाइन्स आर गेटिंग सो ब्लर्ड वॉट इज राइट वॉट इज रॉन्ग अरे मुझे जो रॉन्ग पता था वो तो यार उतना गलत है ही नहीं उतना गलत नहीं है तो कितना गलत है ये सब चीजें आप बताने के लिए तुम्हें कोई होता नहीं है एंड देन यू हैव टू डिसाइड फॉर योर सेल्फ कि तुम्हारे लिए क्या सही है तुम्हारे लिए क्या गलत है अगर तुमने ये काम किया हाउ इज इट गोइंग टू अफेक्ट यू इज इट गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट योर फ्यूचर कि नहीं ये तुम्हें शायद आगे काम करे ये सारे डिसीजन तुम पे आ जाते हैं एंड इन सब चीजों में भी सही ट्रैक पे चलना इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट a lot it takes a lot out of you for the initial 2 3 months i had no system it took me around 2 months to you know मेक अ सिस्टम फॉर माई सेल्फ कि ओके मुझे ऐसे उठना है मेरा कमरा ऐसे दिखेगा मुझे ऐसे पढ़ाई करनी है ये थिंग्स नीड टू वर्क आउट दिस इन दिस मैनर फॉर मी दिस दीज आर माई फाइनेंस राइट बिकॉज उससे पहले तो बस कुछ भी हे वायर चल रहा था एंड जब तक मैं टू मंथ्स में फिगर आउट करती तब तक मिड सेम्स आ गए एंड नाव टू डील विद लॉ स्कूल का एग्जाम्स आई थिंक अनादर मेजर इश्यू दैट आई फेल्ट वॉज दैट मे बी आई वॉज अंडर प्रिपेयर बट जब तक मैं चीजों में सेटल हो रही थी तब तक कॉलेज की तरफ से बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर था टू डू थिंग्स एंड टू गेट थिंग्स डन बिकॉज वेन यू आर इन दैट सेटिंग यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू गुड राइट तुम यू नीड टू हैव इंटर्नशिप यू नीड टू हैव डन अ कपल ऑफ मूव तुम्हारे रिसर्च पेपर्स होने चाहिए ये होना चाहिए वो होना चाहिए योर सी वी शुड बी लुकिंग एब्सोल्यूटली गॉर्जियस इट्स जस्ट दैट बींग इन अ लॉ स्कूल यू डोंट गेट that much of a personal space right uh, anything that you do for yourself for your well being or for your health or mental health i mean for you to be sane you end up feeling guilty about it and it's like nobody makes you feel guilty but you automatically do because aap usi environment mein hote ho and the thing is ki we are all young adults right and we are going through personal issues as well but being in a law school you just don't get enough time to deal with them and if you do you end up losing a lot of things that matter academically aise samjho na ki tumko kal ke liye char readings mili hai and today you are dealing with something that you need to give time to maybe some relationship issue or maybe you had a fight with one of your friends if you if you just spend your entire evening trying to resolve that you end up not doing the readings and the next day you sit in the class not understanding what the professor is saying and usi time se wo guilt cycle start ho jati hai and to determine what the line is between you know being academically driven and also taking time out for yourself it's just a blur it's a blur to most of the law students because you don't know and it's very difficult to figure out because nobody can tell you how it will work out for you and finding that for yourself is again a very taxing process meanwhile academics at law school especially the top ones because i know of the top ones i'm pretty sure all nlus mein aisa hi hota hai it's kind of heavy as i mean i know of nlu delhi it's a very academically rigorous college you are supposed to devote time to each of the subjects and each of the papers that you are doing and agar nahi kar rahe ho to yaar wo reflect kar jata hai theek hai for example in my first semester i took going to classes very lightly i was like college hai college mein i was supposed to bunk in this and that in this and that so i would end up not attending a couple of lectures and it did did come and bite me back because it does you have to attend classes you have to do the readings you have to make good projects you have to give a good vibe up because there is no other way to it otherwise you just give up on the process ki nahi mujhse to ho hi nahi raha but we are not those people right ki hum just hum ki hum bas process pe give up karte to wo balance maintain karna between somehow between somehow managing your academics but also not losing yourself in that process is very difficult at least i face a lot of difficulties in that theek hai coming on to the relationship aspects i'm not talking about romantic relationships over here i'm just talking about friendships and relationships and dynamics between people in general so when you come to college i feel that the meaning of friendship completely changes what you would consider the definition of friendship in school would be very different from what friendship means in college 
ठीक है एंड इस डेफिनेशन से भी रूबरू होने में मेरे को बहुत समय लगा बिकॉज I had two very close friends back in my coaching back in 11 12th and I thought that is friendship and I tried to gauge every relationship that I was having in college relationship as in friends wala relationship to that I was trying to compare it to that school that friendship that I developed in class 11th and 12th but aise nahi hota hai college friendships are not like that and I ended up not having friends for so long in college college friendships i'm very sorry to say is not like what we have seen in rang de basanti ya fir chichore ya fir any of those bollywood movies college friendships at least i feel in law school is based on uh, opportunities it's very sad i know but it's the truth opportunities how much a person can help you in getting things done and I mean, you'll see that because once you enter first year, first sem, me, you'll see groups of people, you know, just roaming around. You see big, big groups, and eventually it starts to break. And in towards the end of the first year, you just see people who have in who have similar interests be around together, right? So friendship का जो definition होता है, something that you expect out of a friendship is something that you don't get. in law school at least yeah, at least here in my case i did not right and uh, I, i i think it might be very problematic for me to say all of this and that's why i was kind of scared to record this video but i am so i will be honest um what happens in a setting like an lu delhi or top law schools is that uh, mostly we have poster boys and poster girls and top kids coming to this college these are the head boys head girls debating team captains uh एम यू एन में सेक्रेटेरियट के मेम्बर्स एंड वेरी अकम्पलिश किड्स बेसिकली बट वंस यू कम ओवर हर नॉट एवरीबडी कैन बी द बेस्ट ओनली वन और टू पीपल आर एट द टॉप वेन दीज किड्स अर पोजिंग टू मीडियोक्रिटी द टाइप ऑफ और द टाइप ऑफ एटमोसफियर दैट इज क्रिएटेड इज वेरी टॉक्सिक इज वेरी कंपेटिटिव इज वेरी ओ तुमने ये किया कैसे किया मेरे को बताओ मेरे को भी करना है वो चीज तुम्हें सूट कर रही है नहीं कर रही वो फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट हाँ ये तुम्हारी सीवी में बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है तो मेरे को भी करना है एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई बी फ्रेंड्स विद यू एटलीस्ट दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव एनकाउंटर्ड इन कॉलेज सो फार एंड आई विश दिस कुड चेंज बिकॉज बिकॉज इट्स समथिंग दैट आई हैव फेल्ट एंड फॉर मी फ्रेंडशिप हैज बिन वॉट आई हैव डेवलप्ड इन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ एंड आई काइंड ऑफ सीक दैट समवेयर बट एज ऑफ नाउ आई हैवन रिसीव दैट बट हियर कम्स द ट्विस्ट the senior junior relationship in law schools is absolutely amazing i mean it's unbelievable because meri behan medical college mein hai and medical college mein senior junior relationship is like a proper senior junior relationship theek hai aapko boss and pata nahi kya kya bolna hota hai apne senior ko but i felt that i'm the closest to my seniors here at nlu at nlu delhi and they have made my law school journey so much easier and i chastised myself so much that i didn't start talking to seniors immediately as i came to college so this is one advice to anybody to anybody who is going to law school watching the video please reach out to your seniors because they are really really helpful because they know what you will be going through so they can help you they can guide you and you cannot isolate and live in a law school i have done that i have tried that it was a mistake please don't do it please never ever isolate yourself in a law school reach out to people although how problematic it may be how socially draining it may be reach out to people ask talk do not do not be scared do not hesitate ki kya sochenge ki randomly aake kyu baat kar raha hai kyu baat kar rahi hai aisa nahi hota hai mujhko is baat ka dar tha ki main randomly kaise jaake baat karu but then i realized that the more and more seniors i'm opening up to the more i'm getting to know about college the more i'm understanding about myself and what i want to do but apart from all that i also feel that law school gives everybody who is here an opportunity to explore yourself to infinite depths of course sometimes i feel so trapped in this place and sometimes i feel like running away but most of the times i tell myself that what all this place has got to offer me i mean by the end of my first semester i realized that if i compare myself by the yardstick a uh, set by the people in law school ki aapko ye ye karna hai for you to be a good law student and your cv should look like this i will always be very sad and troubled at all times 
सो उससे बेटर है दैट आई डू वॉट आई लाइक एंड आई पेव माई ओन वे एंड इन डूइंग दैट आई रियलाइज की दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट माई कॉलेज हेज गॉट टू ऑफर मी हेल्प्स मी जस्ट सो मच लाइक आई एम एबल टू रीच आउट टू पीपल आई एम एबल टू रीच आउट टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई एम एबल टू वर्क एट सच अमेजिंग प्लेसेज ओनली बिकॉज आई हैव द टैग ऑफ नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी डेली विद मी राइट इट समवेयर एक्सेंशुएट्स हु यू आर एज अ पर्सन ऑल्सो वी हैव सम अमेजिंग प्रोफेसर यर दैट आई एम लाइक सो ग्रेटफुल to god that i got to interact with them i mean if you follow me on instagram i have shared the story of that why of of that one criminal law why were those 20 minutes that are you know they literally changed my life i don't care whatever marks i got but it literally changed my life i'm so glad that i got to have that 20 minute conversation with such an amazing person so yes the type of professors that you interact with the type of research opportunities that you get it's amazing I mean if you want you can utilize law school in unprecedented ways you can explore yourself to depth because see jab college mein aate ho na aapka sabse zyada liberty hoti hai ki aap apne aap ko dhoond sako jo shayad ghar pe bhi nahi hoti hai and maybe hum college ke baad jab nikal jayenge to bhi difficult hota hai because we get set into a routine life college mein na you can make mistakes although it might seem ki law school aake aisa lagta hai ki we cannot make any errors बट अगर लॉ स्कूल को हटा के हम कॉलेज पे फोकस करें कि या वी आर इन कॉलेज इट्स ओके फॉर यू टू मेक मिस्टेक्स एंड इट्स अ टाइम दैट गिव्स यू अ लॉट ऑफ स्पेस टू एक्सप्लोर सो आई मीन दैट्स व्हाट आई प्लान ऑन डूइंग आई प्लान ऑन ट्राइंग ऑन एवरी लिटिल थिंग आई प्लान ऑन ट्राइंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बिफोर आई इवेंचुअली डिसाइड की हे दिस इज वन थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू ऑल माई लाइफ राइट लॉ स्कूल गिव्स दैट टू यू अ गुड लॉ स्कूल गिव्स दैट टू यू ठीक है इट इज वन थिंग दैट आई रियलाइज आफ्टर कमिंग टू कॉलेज that however hard and however taxing it might have been for me i did have a lot of chances to explore who i am in a lot of aspects and i'm very grateful for my college for those things so when i came back from college abhi summer break mein to apne daddy mama se baat kar rahi thi to main unko bata rahi thi ki college aise hai aur main itna sad hu wahan pe aur main matlab ki itna zyada fluctuation hota rehta hai mere emotions ka sometimes i'm so happy i'm like wow what an amazing place i i am and like this is so amazing and then sometimes i'm like yaar mujhe yahan se jana hai kahan aa gayi hu main kahan phas gayi hu kya chal raha hai theek hai so i was telling my parents about all of this so my dad said that he's a hero hota hai na तो उसको बहुत ज्यादा मारा जाता है ठोका जाता है जिससे उसके सर्फेस ऐसा जाए कि बहुत ज्यादा रिफ्लेक्शन हो एंड जो सबसे ज्यादा ठोका हुआ हीरो होता है ना उसकी शाइन सबसे ज्यादा होती है सो मे बी दैट इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद यू पीपल तुम लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर डाला जा रहा है सो दैट यू एंड अप डूइंग वेरी वेल एक्सट्रीमली वेल इन लाइफ एंड आई होप होप दैट इज द केस आई एम येट टू फिगर दैट आउट बिकॉज फर्स्ट ईयर के एक्सपीरियंस है मैं तो ये मैं ये तो फिगर आउट नहीं कर सकती बट आई होप दैट इज द केस इट हैज बिन हार्ड बट देन आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू फॉर द ईयर्स टू सी की चीजें बदलती है एंड आई होप दे चेंज फॉर गुड आई होप आई फिगर आउट अ बेटर वे टू डील विद थिंग्स आई ऑलवेज से दैट मे बी आई वॉज इन प्रिपेयर इनफ फॉर दिस प्लेस बट आई डोंट नो हाउ प्रिपेयर यू कैन बी आई थिंक लॉ स्कूल कम्स एज इट कम्स अफकोर्स दर इज एन एग्जिस्टिंग अननेसेसरी हसल कल्चर इन मोस्ट ऑफ द एन एल यूज I hope anybody who's watching the video who's already in a law school or is planning on joining a law school try not to be a part of this unnecessary hustle culture try to find your own way do what makes you happy if you're passionate about law you're certainly going to find an area that will interest you work in that explore a lot it's going to be difficult but i think it's worth it in the end that's it uh, thank you so much for listening to me talk and i make videos on law school my life things in general clat and elet also uh so you can subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon with another video bye bye take care